What's going on guys? Back in the garage for another video, another vlog. Well, it seems like winter, or what we would consider winter in Florida, has finally hit us. It has been in the 40s for the last couple of days. Today particularly even colder. I think it was in the 30s this morning when I went to work. Either way, that's not the topic of today's video. Today's video is minor suspension fix on the Jetta. Now, last video I told you that the tie rods, you know, it kind of felt loose while driving down the road. So I inspected this wheel, this side tie rod, and it's completely, completely toast. I think I took it. Did I take it up? I did. I took it up. As you can see, that's that's trash. So I thought that these that I had from a Mark IV would fit, but they're too long. So that's not gonna work. In the midst of me rolling the fender, which I couldn't use the roller for some reason, because the coilover, the bodies were too low. So I just used a hammer. I heated up the panel and then just beat it pretty good. It moved. It's pretty rolled. It's not it's not flat as flat as I want it to be, but it's still better than what it was. I still have to do the other side. Um, I did order new tie rod ends, so I'm going to go pick those up now after I pick up Isaiah from school. And then I won't be able to pick up, I won't be able to swap them in today because we have an event at Isaiah school, but I will be able to pick do the work probably Wednesday. And I need to get it done because Wednesday, this Saturday again, be back in Deltona with Omar trying to fix, not really fix, I want to say fix, but we'll be back in Deltona finishing the wet sanding and buffing on the car, well at least the back half. Uh, if we're lucky we can get to the doors. Um, so yeah, it's cold out, don't want to be in with the garage open too much, doing too much work on the car because it's just not going to be comfortable. Going to get the car wet sanded this weekend. Get the suspension put on, swap out, you see one of the EB center caps there, swap out the center caps with the BBS ones, get the flare back on, clean up the rest of the residue from the wet sanding, and that will be it for pretty much the middle of the week. If it gets warmer, I don't know if there's anything else that I can do to the car. It's pretty much running like a champ, so there's nothing else really I'm going to do. Oh, there is one more thing. See if you guys can hear it. Oh, it must have got stuck. Anyway, there was a piece of plastic, I think, that broke loose in here. And every time I'd open and close the trunk, it would rattle around. So I need to take the taillights off and the tub off, find it, and get it out of there. Because it's very annoying. And I think that is about it for this week. Just getting the car prepped up. Because in January, I believe January 5th, there is an 80s, 90s style car show in Tampa that the whole Mark III squad is going to. Um, I'll get more info and then I'll post a link and all that stuff to it. That way, if you're in Tampa or you're in the Central Florida area, you can meet us out there because we'll all be there. With the whole crew, the wives, the kids, everybody will be there. It's going to be a fun weekend. So, um... Yeah, we're looking forward to it. So we got to get the cars ready so that they make a good uh, presence and a good uh, showing at this show. We'll see you in a bit. All right, so we're back. Today is Wednesday. Temperature is nice and cool. That means you can do some work in the garage and not have to worry about sweating or burning yourself half to death. Cars in somewhat in pieces. I do have to clean it up. Because, like I said, this Saturday we'll be back in Deltona with Omar wet sanding the rear, the rear half of the car. But first, let's fix up the steering. This is the one that was in the car, as you can see. That's totally, that's busted. <clears throat> Still pretty stiff, but it's busted. I thought this one would work. This probably would have been way worse because this moves way too much. Now, let's see if I can get this one out. There we go. There we go. Moves just a little bit. We're going to get this installed. 
Got one for each side. I should stiffen up the steering. Hopefully. If not, then it's going to be the inner ones. And then I'll do those probably after. Maybe after the show. I don't know. I'm not sure if I'll be able to have time to do it before the show. Even though there's a stretch between that Christmas week that I'll be home all week. So I probably won't have much to do then. If I can get the parts before then, then I'll do it. Get the whole, get all the steering tightened up. But if not, this should do and tighten it up fine. It's not like the car is undrivable, but you do feel it at the 70, 75 mark. The car just, it seems like it drifts just a little bit, but it's bearable. But you know, when you can fix something and it's cheap, just fix it. Okay, so you get your wheel off and I'll record it on the other side also, but here, I already told you guys I already had the tie right off. Now normally you would have a nut like this that would already be screwed on, like so. Now I took mine off because that longer end right there, it just wasn't gonna work. And I thought it would work, but it's too long, so we have to put the nut back on. Now, when you get when your car is low and you have it aligned, it will almost be to the very end. It will all the thread is going to be all the way clocked in. And Chris, shout out to Chris at Action Tire, he gave us a tip. He said, if you get new tie rod ends, the inners, if you cut a quarter inch off the thread on the inside, it would allow your car to be um, aligned with perfect factory alignment. With your car low like it is now with the factory tie rods, it won't it won't um, align 100% straight. It just, you just don't have enough adjustment. Now the car will ride smooth and probably go straight down the road, but it won't be 100% dead on like factory to factory spec. So the next time I do these, I'll remember that tip to cut off the inner some of the inner thread he said just a quarter inch and you'll have a little bit more adjustability because this is what they adjust to give you more steering or not enough so anyway we got the put the nut back on normally i leave a mark so this is something that once you leave a mark you don't need to go and get an alignment because once you screw these back on it'll just stop where you left the mark tighten the nut and you're good to go I normally just crack it. As soon as I crack it, I pretty much just roll it back where it needs to be because this is the only part that you screw off. Like so. Then you just screw this on. This is just gonna be one of those things that if I didn't dial it in 100%, then I'll just go get an alignment <laughs> later on. What? me that looks right because the wheel is just about straight and I can tell that looking at the hub that that is also straight and to double check off the passenger wheel we're straight so we're good now all I have to do is to set it in the pocket tighten this nut up against it I guess just locking it in place. Put your bottom nut. I think this was not this one. This one. Put your bottom nut. Once you tighten this down, this will pull in, and then you're good. Get a monkey wrench. Tighten this right here, a box wrench, and then you're pretty much done. the um, tie rod ends are very easy. The hardest part is getting the old ones out of that little cup. Now, AutoZone, you can rent the um, the little fork tool. You stick it in between there and you hit it with a hammer and it splits it. If you don't have access to one or you can't go and find one to rent, I normally just use a hammer. I've got a little, uh, I think it's a three pound or five pound sledge. Hit it up against the knuckle pretty hard, a couple of wax and it'll shake it loose and it'll pop right up. So there's that. Now let's get this buttoned up and get to the other side. All right, tie rod is in, wheel is back on. 
I didn't put the fender uh, flare back on just yet because I want to do some cleaning on it, maybe even paint them. So eventually those will probably just come off for the week. I have to paint the, the rears. So I'm going to get those off as well. Probably paint those later on this week if, if it warms up. If it doesn't warm up, then it's just too cold. You can't paint. Then you're just going to have a whole bunch of issues. So I'm going to leave those off for now. I still have to do some cleaning because you can see some of the residue. It just gets everywhere. Some inside here as well. Clean it off. Dry it. Um, it needs a good wash. Probably wash it tomorrow because tomorrow should warm up into like the 70s again. That way I can wash it without freezing. And yeah, that's about it. That's about it. That's about it. But for now, let's get this wheel off and get this side fixed. Well, I took the wheel off and I see that the axle boot has been ripped and it has grease all over. I'm not sure why. This is the second time that the axle's been messed up. I think it's the sway bar to link. All right, get this side off. As you can see, the boot is busted and there's a lot of play in that. Got the new one here, getting ready to put it on. And this axle, Seems like it's a, a hole, not so much as a giant tear. Either way, whether I get that fixed before the show or not, um, I can. I have warranty on these axles, so it's nothing to maybe like one day during the week go and put the order in and have them just get a new one and swap it out. It shouldn't take that long to swap out. Um, and just have a fresh axle for the trip to Tampa. And then figure out why, I don't know why this thing is hitting, man. Could it just be the, the car just bounced up and the sway bar is hitting? Or maybe I need to find a, maybe adjustable end links. And as you can see, that's where we need to be. Come on, get in there. And if you guys know of a company that makes like a heavy duty one, that would be ideal because, you know, I just think they need to be heavier, heavier duty or something. So that's in there. The nuts right here. Let's just grab the wrench. Just tighten it down. It doesn't need to be overly tight. And boom. Let's put the nut on. The bottom. Hopefully with one hand. Oh, where is it? Where is it? Oh, I gotta find the bit. Hold on. All right. So I suck it. Now there's nylock inside this nut, so once you tighten it, it's not going anywhere. It's not going to pop off. This side is done. Put the wheel back on. Maybe I'll... Now I got to put the wheel back on because the back half of the car is out the garage. Put the wheel back on, and sometime in like when I'm off for vacation, I'll take the wheel off, probably clean the wheel, and just do, do the axle. Might as well since I'll be home, and I'll have time to do it. So, for now, that's it. I'm going to sign off here. If you guys like the content, like the videos, subscribe, like, it's very important, hit that like button if you like the content. Tell a friend, share it, we're on our way to a thousand, once we get to a thousand, there'll be another giveaway, I'm not sure what it is at this moment, but thank you guys, always, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you for supporting. Oh, one last thing, um, we got a lot of good feedback on the podcast episode that we did, the Q&A, me and Christian, so if you guys have any other questions, DM us, leave it in the comments below, send us to us on Instagram. You'll see the Instagram and stuff on the end of our videos. Um, I think we'll probably do another one in that week that um, I'm off for vacation since 
I'll probably have nothing really to do as far as car content. Unless I, unless I do, oh, I do have to do an oil change on the Mark VI. But hit us up with your questions. We'll pick some good topics. I think this, the next one we'll do is, along with a couple of questions, we'll do a price rundown on our cars pretty much in the ballpark range. No need to get into 100% 100 specifics. And that'll be it. So again, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for subscribing. And I'll see you guys in the garage. Peace. guys can see that car there is completely torched at the gas station across the street from the house i'm not sure what happened or whatever